1958 Washington Quarter. Graded as MS-68 by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, the Philadelphia Mint struck a relatively small mintage of 6.3 million Washington Quarters in 1958. The issue can be located in lower mint state grades without much difficulty, but examples in MS-68 are prime condition rarities. This spectacular MS-68 example exhibits sharply detailed design elements and virtually flawless brilliant surfaces, with vibrant mint luster and outstanding eye appeal. It was sold for $1,080. Number 6. 1943 Lincoln Cent Struck on a Silver Dime Planchet. Graded as AU55 by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, quite an attractive example of this popular World War II era that exhibits brazen rotating luster in the fields punctuated by patches of mottled amber, sandy russet, and cobalt blue tone hugging the devices. In the haste of wartime production, a stray 90% silver planchet intended for dime coinage managed to find itself in the striking chamber intended for steel Lincoln cents producing this sensational mistake. Lightly struck, as is expected for the error, with pressure lacking between the dies due to the smaller flan. Brought to fame by the famous 1943 bronze cents, off planchet 1943 pieces are an especially popular microcosm of error collecting and frequently available because of lower wartime production standards. This error coin was sold for $3,000. Number 5. 1953 S. Jefferson Nickel in MS-65 plus full steps. The 1953S is one of the most difficult issues in the Jefferson Nickel series to acquire in full steps, with only 29 such coins reported at PCGS in all grades. This plus designated gem displays sharp delineation of the steps on Monticello, while the remainder of the coin shows the typical softness associated with the dye erosion of this issue. Delicate champagne color accents each side. No major abrasions are seen. It was sold for $6,300. Number 4. 1943S Mercury Dime. Graded as MS-68 full bands by PCGS. Remarkable cherry red, peach, lemon, and green patina encompasses this fully struck and pristine superb gem. Though the 1943S is common in typical uncirculated grades, the eye appeal of the present piece is unsurpassable. This specimen was sold for $9,000. Number 3. 1958 D. Franklin Half Dollar. Graded as MS67 plus full bell lines. This is a coin that really needs to be seen to be fully appreciated, the toning that adorns both sides is so vivid and striking. The colors include, but are limited to, salmon pink, antique gold, bright olive and burnt orange. All are iridescent in quality and allow full mint frost to shine forth powerfully as the surfaces rotate under a light. Fully struck and as smooth as the day it emerged from the dyes, this glorious superb gem was sold for $22,700. Number 2. 1968 No S. Roosevelt Dime. Graded as PR68 by NGC. In 1968, when proof U.S. coinage returned after a three-year hiatus, production was switched from Philadelphia to San Francisco. In accordance with the new Mintmark regulations, an S was supposed to be placed on every obverse proof die, but it did not take long for the first slip-up to occur, and a small number of proof dimes were struck without the S Mintmark and released to the public in proof sets. The surfaces are faintly gold-toned with a hint of obverse contrast. This specimen was sold for $24,000. Number 1. 1950 D. Washington Quarter. Graded as MS-67 by PCGS. The curve of the undermite mark S is visible at the top left and top side of the subsequent D, one of several fun cherry pickers varieties known for this issue. The surfaces are silvery throughout both sides, with just a light blush of toning, thorough luster, and excellent eye appeal. As demanded of the grade, there are no singular marks anywhere, and the strike is as sharp as ever seen on the issue. This nice example ended up selling for $29,375. Thanks for watching this video till the end. Your likes, Comments and subscriptions are highly appreciated. Stay well and see you in the next episode.